Donald Trump loves to paint himself as the only mentally competent person running for president right now, certainly more mentally competent than president Biden. Donald Trump said, everybody should have to take that person, man, woman, camera, TV test that he took. And he'll put his results up against anybody else because his mind, he says, sharper than everyone out there. Now I've been talking about this a lot recently, but the reason I want to talk about it again, right here is because CNN talked about it. Now CNN doesn't quite have the viewership that they used to have, obviously, but CNN is still one of the big three cable news outlets and CNN has now had to start talking about Donald Trump's mental decline. And the CNN article, by the way, also mentions a recent segment that MSNBC did about Donald Trump's ongoing mental problems. And those problems are plenty. And those problems are becoming more and more frequent, which indicates that perhaps Donald Trump's mental competency is eroding much faster than any of us thought. Now I've already talked about a lot of these instances and they include, include in no particular order, getting distracted by a fly, suddenly realizing that U S and United States both have the same letters, U and S that was weird, but not as weird as when he said that he beat Barack Obama in 2016, when Barack Obama wasn't running for office, not as weird as when he said that Jeb Bush is the one who got us into the war in the middle East in 2001, when Jeb was the governor of Florida. He meant George W. Bush. He said that Victor Orban was the prime minister of, uh, what was it? He said he was the prime minister of Hungary, but it's actually the prime minister of Turkey. Obviously he also said that president Biden might get us into world war two. Yikes. World war two. Well, we, nobody wants that again. Trust me, but we also already had it. So unless president Biden has somehow made a time machine that he's not telling us about, then I, I don't think he's going to put us back in world war two. Um, that, that would be quite a thing, but pretty sure Biden doesn't have a time machine. I'm like 99% sure president Biden doesn't have a time machine. I can't say for certain, just have, call it a hunch if you will. But in all seriousness, these gaffes, and there's, there's many, many more. I mean, these incidents I'm talking about, this is all from the last month. But the media is starting to pay attention, CNN and MSNBC, his Republican opponents are starting to pay attention. Nikki Haley called him out for it recently. Ron DeSantis has gotten to the point where he actually has a, uh, uh, the, the Trump accident tracker. So they're just compiling all these video clips of Donald Trump saying stupid stuff you know, like not remembering things, misremembering things, not knowing what year, who was where, not even knowing what city he's in, which of course happened this past week when he was in Sioux city, not Sioux falls. Um, so yeah, everybody has taken notice. The Biden administration is starting to highlight these gaffes from Donald Trump, not the Biden administration, sorry, the Biden campaign. The administration has to stay out of it. The campaign is the one that's doing it. The point is everybody notices. Everybody notices Donald Trump's very obvious mental decline at this point. Now, the problem is according to Republican strategists, nobody seems to care, right? I mean, Donald Trump obviously slipping a little bit, but physically wise, even though he's not a healthy looking dude, he's still spry. You got to give him that, right? But more importantly, it doesn't matter how many gaffes Donald Trump has. It doesn't matter how many time he, times he flubs the city that he's in or gets distracted by flying insects. His supporters don't care. All right. This is the guy who admitted back in 2016, I could go to fifth Avenue, shoot somebody, and not lose a supporter. Even if the person he shot was a supporter, they would probably tell him like, that was the best gunshot I've ever had, sir. Thank you. Like they love him that much. So his mental decline is not going to hurt him with Republicans, but if used properly, especially by the way, by his Republican opponents, let them do the dirty work, right? If they are the ones who go out there, highlight this all the time, 
that's going to stick in the minds of those independent voters out there. The Democrats keep their hands clean on the issue for now. Let the Republicans take the lead, attack Trump for his mental decline. And then once Trump is the nominee replay from the Republicans, them attacking Donald Trump over his mental competency. See how that works? Like you're not saying it, you're getting them to say it. Now that may be just, you know, the <laughs> deep down political strategist inside of me, but I think it's a good strategy. I think Democrats should do it. And hopefully that's what happens moving forward. But whatever happens, it's undeniable that Donald Trump is slipping more than usual. And that's never a good sign for somebody that wants to be the president. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the fair and balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like comment and share, but again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen. Oh, not be so grumpy.